main reason I've come here today. I bought this platy pod, as you know. You've probably seen the post and this this thing here. And it's supposed to take the place of a tripod. Um, it's, it's obviously a bit more limited than a tripod, but I've, I've taken some really good photos with this and I'm really impressed with it. So I thought I'd have a day out. It's the first time I've come out with this and no tripod. So I thought, jump in the deep end. But I've just taken a picture down here in the grass of this with this, and that seemed to be really nice. So I'm gonna have a look on the big screen when I get home. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a, I'm just gonna have a wander around and, and just take pictures that I see. They're not all going to be fantastic landscapes, but interesting. Inter interesting to see how I'll get on with this uh, paddy pod. There's a train that goes around this place, a little little mini railway. And uh, don't often hear it in a week, or see it in a week, but I was walking through the park today and I heard it blowing its whistle, which means it's running. But whether we actually see it or not is another matter because I'm not going to sit there for hours waiting for the train to come along. I've already had pictures of the train. So, this is uh, Milton Creek. And we're actually at the creek. This is the creek here. And I'm heading back now towards the park. And see, see what pictures we get, you know. I often forget, when I'm taking photos, I often forget to do the filming, which is annoying. It's so annoying. Because I get home and I look at the few clips that I've got, and I ain't enough to do a video, so, You've really got to concentrate on doing this videoing. That's the Kemsley paper mill over there. And it's often, and it's obviously not doing anything at the moment. It's not producing anything at the moment because you've got no steam coming out. Because when you're, when you're making paper, you generate a lot of steam and, and energy that it takes to make the paper, which is, uh, it's quite good when, that, when it's running because you get good pictures of all this steam coming out by the towers. A little seaweed hanging over that. Is it worth a picture? I don't think so, really. Look at the mud. Yeah, it's not very clean, this. Anyway, let's carry on. And this stuff, this is called curly dock. And as you can see here, there's quite a lot of it right on the pathways. And this stuff, believe it or not, they've let, they're letting this grow here because there's some moth that's kind of like, there's not many of them. So they're a bit protected. So they're leaving this curly dock to help them off, apparently. But what I don't tell you is that this stuff is highly toxic to animals like dogs and cats. So if you come over here and you see this brown stuff, this curly dock, for God's sake, don't let your dog go over and have a sniff or what. They tend to chew it as well, so if it gets into their bellies, it can kill them. So just be aware. There's the train. We just missed it, look. But that's good because it's going that way and it only goes up to the mill and then it comes back. So I shall, I shall get to the level crossing in time to see it coming back. So I should get, should get some photos of it which is great. He always gives you a wave when he goes past. It's 
so I bought a Arca Swiss, little Arca Swiss bracket for the Platypod, which was cheap. I mean, that's not, not an expensive one. By Nua, and it's really good. I'm using it today. I mean, it holds the camera, no problem whatsoever. It's nice and firm, and it's a good quality build. So, see how I get on with that. If I get on with it okay, and it, you know, I think it's better than the other brackets, I'm gonna buy an Acrotech Arca Swiss head, tilt, tilt shift head, especially made for doing panos. I mean, it's, and it's really expensive. I mean, it's a lot of money, about 370 quid, which is a hell of a lot of money. But I think it's something that would benefit my photography. I mean, all, all the panos I've done up to now, I've really done out and held, because it, it's no good on a tripod with tilting your camera over on a bulkhead. It's just no good. Oh, yeah. Um, you alright? Yes, yeah. Yeah, very well, thank you. I didn't realise it was so warm. I oh, know, it's lovely, isn't it? Yes. If you like that. Ha! <laughs> yeah, it can get a bit too warm. So, this little path is the lake. Any luck? Yeah, I've had one. Have you? Yeah. Gooden? Yeah, 27 and a half. Wow. Yeah, it was literally about half an hour ago. I wish I'd have been here, I could have filmed it. My net's still soaking wet. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, well, good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Look at that, there's a fish there, look. Two. The sun's right above us now, it's quite bright. Not the greatest time of day to take photos really. But uh, I'm here, so I'm gonna take some pictures of the church. So here's the church, made me way over to the church now. I've just taken a picture and it looks really good in the camera, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna uh, make my way home now. So, I've had, a, I've had quite a good day. That's the platypod. And I've got to say, everywhere I've used it, it's worked. So I'm really pleased with that. But yeah, good day, a bit hot now. So I'm gonna make my way home and have a look at my pictures. And uh, no doubt, if there's any good ones there, which I think there is, I'll post them on my Facebook page tonight. So, bye for now. Been a lovely day, I like this. <laughs>